And this is what we're told branding music is all about. We're told it's about finding our ideal audience. We're told it's about the way that we dress. Finding the right niche or the right micro niche that your genre, or maybe you think it's your style of music and the way that it sounds. And I was banging my head against the wall trying to find the right fit. And then one day I realized the key to this. It's called sound and memory association. And when I got this idea, I was actually on a train and I noticed this girl beside me was watching a concert on her phone with her friend. And they were both like nodding and smiling, enjoying the music. And I looked at the phone and I saw that the people in the crowd were actually doing the same thing. The musician was just totally working the crowd on stage and he was creating this experience. And I was thinking, I was like, gosh, what's going on here? And I was thinking about that. And I thought maybe it's not the sound of the music, but the way that people feel when they listen to it, the way that we feel when we listen to it. And that's when it hit me. A music brand is not about the way music sounds. It's about the memories, experiences, and feelings that people associate with that sound when they hear it. And I needed to stop thinking about the way my music sounded and start thinking about the feeling that it created in the person that would be listening to it and the situations and experiences they might be in. Then I could find images that match that. And you can see this in action if you listen to movie scores. All right, think of a movie theme song and hear it in your head, hear the melody. And then you notice the scenes and feelings created by those as they start to come to your mind while you're listening to the music. And essentially the movie is basically the visual brand for the theme music, isn't it? And that's sound memory association in action. So to brand your music, I want you to picture the person listening to it, all right? Imagine them listening in their car or at their job or in the background of a, at a house party. Start matching your music with pictures or stories and situations those people might be in. Then you can identify specific things to visually represent the ideas in your songs with things like graphics or a logo or a t-shirt. I want to point out too that that's exactly what Allison did in that uh, shot we showed at the beginning with her branding boards. She wanted to make a collage and represent this, the feeling that people would get when they listen to the sound of their music. And that helped her inform like what they would wear and the colors that they would use and all of that. So she was using this sound memory association and just representing, it helped her kind of see it to put it on a board and then go into these next steps. Absolutely. And that's sound memory association. You use an image to visually represent an idea in a song. Okay. 